Mark just did what I've been um, very nervous to do since we got the car. Hey everyone, I'm Mark. And I'm Morgan. And, and we, we are Grove Electric. Electric. Today, we... Tonight. Tonight. <laughs> yep, yeah, it is dark. Not just because we're in our garage, but because it is 10 p.m. 10 p.m. We are about to embark on our 10 year wedding and not wedding <laughs> yeah 10 year anniversary of dating we still celebrate these because it, it should still be technically like a dating relationship you know don't give up that aspect of relationship people but we are coming up on five years married Woohoo! yeah <laughs> so um yeah so we're leaving at 10 o'clock at night and we are taking our anniversary trip to another country we're going to nova scotia in our tesla oh yeah what <laughs> How is there any other way? Uh, many. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to make this like a two-day trip to get there. And so tonight, we're leaving at 10. We're going to get to Connecticut today. So we're going to drive up some north and then some, up, some, some more up. north tomorrow. Yeah, and we have Willow, who apparently <laughs> is uh, not She's going not. to... It's really dark back there. There like, we go. Comfortable, I guess. I'm not, not sure not why. Today. She has many pillows and her lammy, and she's just trying to settle in. Right, Willie? Oh, she does not look comfy. <laughs> oh, man. Not yet, but she'll get there. So, yeah. She's yeah. along for the ride and along for this week of travel. Yep, so we are starting our trip at 63%, and we are headed to Connecticut, so we'll see if we have to uh, stop and charge on the way there. Unfortunately, it is raining. Uh, hopefully, we won't have to deal with this the whole entire trip, but that is our current circumstances, and because it's 10 o'clock, you know, you gotta get that rain, Any get days. that hydration, <laughs> and yeah, let's do this thing. I'm excited. Are you excited? Very. And it is 51 degrees, but that's like the high for this week coming up. So Sadly. This is not South gonna, Carolina. Yeah, definitely the opposite. <laughs> opposite direction on the map. So yeah. we'll see how this goes. We just pulled in to the Pompton Lakes, New Jersey supercharging location. It is a really cool stop. It is still raining, but I am going to break out of the car and do a little filming outside. We pulled in around 22%, I believe. So we're gonna charge up a little here. There is a downside though. Mm -hmm. it, it is 10 minutes to midnight. Mm -hmm. Therefore, this shopping center where these are, which is a very nice shopping center, there is nothing open. Mm -hmm. And my we lovely have to wife. Go to the restroom, of course. Use the bathroom. And we didn't look that up pre stop, so I'm just sitting here waiting to go. So this shopping center is not just great and nice, it's amazing. The shop right across from us that we're staring at, I cannot wait to come back and take Lily to. It's called The Pet Shop, and I just peeked in their window, uh, went and searched for an open store, and they have like everything for every size dog even. And it was just so cool to see that they had every size toy, the same toy, but in different sizes. I loved it. I can't wait to take Lily there when it's open. Yeah, so we're at 48%. I'm going to mm -hmm. pop out and show you guys the supercharging location. And also, I believe it's Electrify America, which is also really nice. So I'll show that to you guys. So as you can see, there was a Wendy's that we thought would be open, but it is not. drive through only. So you got one, two, three, four superchargers. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine supercharging stations. That is pretty good. Uh, we could definitely bump that number up in the future, of course. But yes, thank you, Tesla. Tesla vehicle charging only, guys. I know it upsets uh, internal combustion cars, but these are fueling stations. Please do not park in them. And then over here, We've got some CCS charging locations for non-Tesla vehicles. And let's see what there we got. One, two, three, four stalls. They are Electrify America. So here's a little bit of the difference between Tesla and Electrify America. Electrify America has these screens, kind of like pulling up to a regular gas station. Look at this. The maximum power of this charger has been temporarily reduced in order to improve service and perform an update. Okay, so 
One, Alexa Fire America, what update are you performing? And two, that's not great. They're only a 150 kilowatt. Okay, so we're working with 50 kilowatts. We got a Chatamo, which is just for basically a Nissan Leaf. And then you have your CCS. And I don't even know if I can pull this out. Yes, I can. Okay, so there you go. This is the North American standard, even though Tesla wants to be the North American standard. This is CCS1. Look at this big bulky thing. I don't know, guys. I mean, I had a non-Tesla before, BMW i3, and I really did love that car. But this network, this network is rough. So Mark just did what I've been um, very nervous to do since we got the car. He said, oh, we're ready to go. Let's do this. And he just reached for his seatbelt and said, I said, no, no, Marky, you can't just drive away. You can't just drive away. Nope. That would be very, very, very bad in this type of bad. car. Like, I see it with people with their gas, but, oh, man, would that be a problem? So, anyway, we got a 41% in this last 10 minutes or so, and it was only $7.03. So we are going to make it to, um, well, we could make it to our hotel, but that's only going to be at 22%. So we'll likely charge again tonight. Yay. Unfortunately, the Wawa that we thought we were going to be able to use was in the opposite direction. So instead of going in the wrong direction, we just kept pressing forward and had to hold our bladders for 30 minutes because at midnight, nothing is open. Uh, we needed a rest area. So we stopped in Greenwich, Connecticut, which also has supercharging. So we pulled in around 39% and we're charging up. We're just gonna charge the 80% here. That way we can just finish out uh, and get to our hotel tonight. And we'll be around 50-ish percent when we arrive at the hotel, which will be perfect to sit at overnight. This location does also have CCS charging, but I don't feel like getting out of the car again because it's still pouring rain. We're about to push off from Greenwich, Connecticut, and that charge was $12 even. Never really seen that one before, so that's cool. And so we're about $20 in for the first four hours of the trip. ETA to the hotel is 2.05 a.m., so not too bad, honestly. Well, we have made it tonight to our hotel for the evening. And we arrived at 55%, so even a little more than what we expected it to be at. But 2 in the morning, I am ready to get some sleep. I am tired. I've but, been snoozing. Yeah, but 55% is great. And uh, we'll just sit at that for the night. And then we'll get on the road and... Charge when we need to. Good morning. It is unfortunately still raining, so we do have to deal with that. However, on the positive side, 0% phantom drain last night. We came here and parked at 55%, and we are starting our day at 55%. So that's pretty awesome, considering we also always have sentry mode on. And so, yeah, no drain uh, whatsoever. Unfortunately, our sleep did get cut short by at least an hour because... Uh, Willow. Yeah, because Willow. <laughs> but I didn't have to go through it because my wife is an angel and she let me sleep while all of this mm -hmm. that she's going to tell you about was going on. Yeah. So Willow, she had a upset belly last night. And uh, so at 3.30 in the morning, I woke up to the smell of poop. And she did it in the room. Then um, around 6 a.m. I was like, I should take her out again because if she still has an upset belly, she might have to go again. So we were making our way out the door and in the hallway, she pooped again. It was just awful. I felt so bad for her. She can't help it, but I just, oh, she didn't know how far she needed to go or what was going to happen. So I think she just got nervous and there it's at. So, but honestly, this hotel staff, they're a pet friendly hotel. Um, they were so understanding. They just helped us right away. It was amazing. So Best Western Plus, New Haven, Connecticut. Awesome job, especially to Jared. Thanks, Jared. Yes, thank you, Jared. <laughs> and uh, I would say that this is, I would definitely recommend this hotel. What a, what a great night. Yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. unfortunately, <laughs> Willow is, is not feeling well, so we're going to have to deal with that. But it is what it is. On our way to 
our first charging stop, wherever that's going to be. Not sure at this moment. We're we'll going to set that up. We are in Charlton, Massachusetts at a rest area, charging up. We pulled in at 19%. I was able to catch a few Zs while Morgan was driving. And this location is okay. It's a rest area, so it has bathrooms and all of that. Um, only food provided here is a McDonald's or like vending machines, I think. Well, later in the day, probably for like lunch and dinner, they'll have like a pizza shop, I believe, in there. But And then something fresh. But Something fresh? Fresh. Not like fresh food. That's something. good. Yeah, so. so but at this hour, only McDonald's. <laughs> version 1 and version 2 superchargers charge up to a max of 150 kilowatts if there is one vehicle. If there's two vehicles, it then splits the charge between the two vehicles and it would be 75 kilowatts per uh, max per each vehicle. Those supercharging stands are labeled 1A, 2A, 1B, 2B. To, so you know which station charges uh, uh, shares the charge with the other. If you go to a version 3 supercharger, you can charge up to a max of 250 kilowatts. And those stations are labeled 1A, 1B, oh 1C, gosh. 1D, and then to the next letter, 2A, 2B, 2C, 2D, and so on. So those charge up to 250 kilowatts, and those do not share a charge. And apparently my brain is still a little Mush. bit mushy. Uh, <laughs> we did get a coffee for Morgan here at the Mickey D's. Oh, and we are pretty much finished our charge. So we are at 79% state of charge, and we're gonna be finishing probably around what, $21, I would say. Yeah. Great, so we just got our electrons reloaded, we got our bellies all full, and now it's back to me driving here this afternoon. Um, we're still very far from our destination in Nova Scotia, but I'm really excited to see what else Maine has to offer. We're now in Maine. What did we Seiko pull in here at? Uh, 26%. 26%. So a little early, but it was perfect time for lunch. And I know Willie wanted to get out as well again. So. And we charged mm -hmm. up to 90% because it was a lunch break. So we had the time. So we're at 90%. And somehow we were able to deduce our time by an hour. So now we're going to arrive in Nova Scotia by 11 p.m. But we'll see if that hopefully. continues. Yeah, that but would be We still have great. to cross the border and do dinner and hopefully something yummy or then fast food. <laughs> yeah, that was sad. So we're it's this supercharger is in a uh, grocery store shopping um, lot. Oh, so yeah. it's like eh, it's okay. It's not the best spot, but it's not bad. You know, there are restrooms available in the, the grocery, uh, store, grocery store the or restaurants. The... But again, if you're after 11 p.m., they're probably all closed or just like drive-through only. So right, always keep that in mind as you travel. I don't know how truckers do it. Yep. Seriously. <laughs> so we just had a three hour prior to this and now Morgan's going to do a four, four hour. hour. I can't believe it, but it has warmed up a bit today and the sun came out. It stopped raining. So we're honestly on those back road highways. If you followed us before, you know, we love those back road highways. So we're going to see if we can keep the windows down, the air flowing and more comfortable uh, temperature here. Yeah, and so as much as like everyone complains, oh, you're not gonna have enough range. I mean, a four hour stint in the car is a long time. Long like, time. That is a period in which I definitely would like to get out and stretch and my stretch. legs. Stretch, literally stretch. <laughs> so I have no gripes about the range. I'll take more, but I got no gripes. Wow, guys, what a day it's been. I am honestly a little amazed at how long uh, Maine is. It's taking us about eight hours alone to get through just Maine. So we're still in Maine. And the last charge, by the way, since we had to stop uh, recording there, we spent $21. So now we're up to about $60 for last night and today's charges. Um, we're charging here again now in Brewer, I think we're at Maine. 60? Yeah. Oh, wow. Uh huh. We had the early morning stop and then we had our lunch stop and then the two stops yesterday was also 20 so that's 60. We will find out. We'll do the math later on. <laughs> I just did it. <laughs> You're impressive. I, I, I don't care. Yeah, so we're in Brewer, Maine and um, this is a 150 station? So yes, this is a 150, 150. kilowatt, so version 1, version 2, probably V2. Um, but what the difference is, like I was talking about earlier, is the spots are labeled A, B. So if you come over here, you'll see 3A and 3B. So he's charging on 3A. 
and no one is charging on 3B. So he's getting the full 150 kilowatts. We're charging on 4B alone. No one's charging on 4A, so we're getting it. But if someone backed in next to us, if that were the case, then that charge would be split 75 and 75. Also, to note, power supported by Ruby Tuesday. Shout out to Ruby Tuesday. Thank you very much for allowing Tesla to put these in and you guys um, just supporting this transition to electric future. So really, really awesome. Last thing to talk about here while Willow is sniffing the mulch is probably <laughs> is one of the best pull through spots Tesla that we've charging seen. Spots. Um, and I was going to mention this last time at our morning stop today. However, I just didn't think it was that big of a deal. But then seeing this, I feel like we really should talk about what happened this morning versus right now. So here is the trailer station. So this is a 1A and so if you had a trailer or even just a bike rack and you didn't want to block this parking spot, you would just pull up even farther. See how they added pavement right over here? So that extra pavement allows you to pull in so that your trailer doesn't hang out in the street. However, earlier today, this spot, imagine that right here, being a McDonald's drive through So the Tesla pull-through spot for the morning station was just like this, the charger, the charger here was all the way at the corner and then drive through. And I was like, wow, if someone actually had a trailer, no one would be able to access the drive through right there at all until this person was done charging. So honestly, I don't have an engineering degree. I think I'm, uh, I think I'm pretty smart, but come on, Tesla, let's put a little more thought into the layout of these parking spaces, just so we don't have a bad rap as some people think we already do. So. Um, there's a lot of things that go into the parking and the whole adding of Tesla chargers, but I just couldn't believe that if someone had a trailer and needed that pull through spot today, they were just going to completely block off Mickey D's drive through. So, yeah, I no, <laughs> but Wait. yeah, it's beautiful here in Maine. I can't believe oh, it. We thought it was going to be raining all day and miserable as we traveled however it is almost 70 degrees here beautiful amazing so our charge here in brewer maine was 19 dollars 80 so now we're up to 80 dollars for our trip so far yeah. just about minus some change here and there but and we charged up to 90 percent here 90. and now we're finally going to be able to get out of the united states into canada uh, it says we'll arrive at our next supercharger, which is in Canada, at 28%. So. We were driving along, of course, and <laughs> yeah. this Cadillac is in front of us. And I was like, Mark said, wow, that's a very specific plate number. And it's NFL 189. I said, well, wouldn't that be like the first pick of the 1989 NFL draft? NFL draft? And I was like, I think that's some solid logic. I don't know what else it would be. So we went and we looked it up, and it's Troy Aikman. I have no idea if we're behind Troy Aikman right now. But how cool would that be? But how cool would that be? Seriously. Well, we have just crossed in from America into Canada. So this is the second time we have done that. Um, this trip, we did have to get new passports because, well, for one, mine expired and I had name change. Secondly, Mark's was going to expire two days into this trip. So that would have been fun to get back into our own country with an expired passport. So, oh fun, we just had some phantom breaking there. <laughs> anyway. I don't even know why, it's crazy. So, Mark was like, oh gosh, we have to go 100 kilometers an hour, or however they read their speed limits here. And I was like, I don't know how fast that is. And so, we were able to use the car's features here and go, they just put this in as a search and like a search bar. So now you can just type in whatever you need. And I put in KIL and it brought right up kil kilometers versus miles. So that was really awesome, very easy. So now you can see up here instead, it now says 100 and then 110 max. And then over here, it even tells you that that is 68 miles per hour. So we can still read it and understand how fast we are actually going. Cause obviously we are not going 110 miles per hour. Border Patrol agent was awesome. Actually gave us a recommendation for a restaurant and a food to try, so definitely we'll be doing that. That was really cool. 
Yeah, super cool. And she thought Willow was adorable. Yes. So. <laughs> and honestly, the last time we crossed into Canada, they were very stern and strict and... I was coming back. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. But it just was a whole different experience. It felt different, so it was, it was I nice. am excited. And honestly, now that we're here, there's like all these people out with four-wheelers like I had no clue that Canada was such a big four-wheeler type area literally we we're parked going to the restroom as soon as we got here first thing to do you know go to the potty so um and like literally I was just parked and with Willow and then this husband and wife just comes over with their four-wheeler into the parking lot and I'm like oh you, welcome Willie. welcome to the parking lot so well I did notice Goodness. one thing when we immediately crossed over to our far right I don't know if we got it on footage no. but there was yeah, we did. No, we didn't. Uh, <laughs> so I'm the passenger. I did not yeah. take it. <laughs> so there was actually some electric vehicle charging. Definitely looked and appeared to be um, J1772 or J1772, however you want to say it. Uh, um, AC charging, level two. But still pretty cool to see right there, right when you cross the border. If you needed it, it's there and available. We're headed to Quispius? Is that how you would say that? Quispamsis. Quispamsis. Canada. And so we're headed there to charge up. Now, originally it had said that we were going to arrive at 45%. No, originally you said 28%. Yes, it's 25 And it jumped up crazy That's amount right. to 45 Well, I think it was like over-exaggerating its efficiency and forgot about <laughs> elevation. And so it actually was slowly decreasing and now we're back down to 26% arrival so even 2% less than originally estimated so it's just funny that yes you should trust this car because the car is very smart but then at the same time it's just trying to learn the ropes as we go as well yeah and uh, another thing New Brunswick we finally figured <laughs> out the NFL 189 so we couldn't read where it was from the like, whole time that we were driving we by. We didn't know if it was an American plate, a special plate, or if it was Canadian. And we just found out. It was Canadian. Canadian. So chances are it probably no. wasn't Troy Aikman. <laughs> but I did really appreciate my wife's logic behind that. I thought that was very Thanks. impressive. So way to go, babe. Uh, we were behind Troy Aikman's Canadian car. <laughs>